RT. Our top story, thousands of Second Amendment activists across the U.S. taking part in a so-called day of resistance against President Obama's stricter gun control measures, calling his plans unconstitutional. As RT's guy in H. Chikian takes a look, it's not just words they're ready to use to protect their right to bear arms. Part of America now favors some form of gun control, especially in the wake of tragic mass shootings. While the other is getting ready to fight against any significant regulations, they're preparing for what they call the invasion of feds by arming themselves to the teeth. We're mobilizing, and we actually got police chiefs that are training citizens like myself on how to ambush, how to set up ambushes, and how to become really qualified snipers uh, against uh, an invasion of feds. A police chief in Pennsylvania, Mark Kessler, is training private citizens to become snipers and resist what they call a tyrannical government, if need be. Trust me, when I tell you this, I mean it. I will take my uniform off and I will stand with freedom before I stand with the, the tyrannical thugs. Absolutely not. I will not in any way, shape or form support anything that goes against the Constitution or the Second Amendment. Sheriff associations from 11 states said they would ignore any law passed in Washington that would significantly regulate guns. We won't enforce uh, federal regulations or federal laws. Uh, we're not required to. Uh, there's a separation of powers, and, and we won't. There is a tradition in American thought of states doing what they want despite what the federal government says. And of course, that led to the Civil War. Well, now we see revival, the same kind of philosophy. Well, we don't like what Washington says, so we're going to do our own thing. We have the right to do it. Well, no, they don't. They're, they're part of this country, whether they like it or not, and, um, and, and federal laws will be enforced. The Obama administration says they're not going to take away people's guns. They just want to ban certain types of assault rifles, which are more appropriate for war than for civilian defense, but which have become the weapon of choice used in mass shootings in America. The administration also wants to enforce background checks on all gun sales. Currently, 40 percent of weapons in the U.S. are sold without any background check. But gun rights advocates see it as the first step towards disarming the nation. There will be more madmen like Hitler and Mussolini and uh, Maltese tongue in the future, okay? And the people have got to be prepared to answer that when it happens. While people like Jim are gearing up for the second coming of Hitler, supporters of gun control point to staggering statistics. The gun murder rate in the U.S. is almost 20 times higher than in the next 22 richest nations combined. Now, that's unimaginable in any other industrial democracy that an argument would be made in favor of owning guns for the purposes of overthrowing the government and, and made by a high court. The solution is uh, making the democracy stronger and not buying guns which are most likely to kill your own children. America is split over priorities. According to the Pew Research Center, currently 50 percent of Americans say controlling gun ownership is the more important priority, while 46 percent say it is to protect the right of Americans to own guns. People choose different ways to stand up for liberty as they see it. One owner of a pizza shop in Virginia Beach offers a 15 percent discount to those who come in with guns. All they have to do is show me that they're carrying a weapon uh, or they can show me their concealed weapons permit and they can get the, the discount. Mr. Lay says 80 percent of his customers have brought guns into the pizza shop since he introduced the deal. One even came in with an AK-47. One question arises when people here talk about protecting their freedoms with weapons that are designed for war. Do these people have such little trust in their democratic system to the point when they think a vote is not enough to secure their rights and that they need a stack of deadly weapons at home to do that? In Washington, I'm going to check in.